गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास टूडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद ऑल इंडिया आकाश टेस्ट सीरीज मेडिकल 2020 क्लास दिस इज टेस्ट नंबर वन कोड सी एंड डी फॉर केमिस्ट्री कंडक्टेड ऑन सिक्स ऑफ अक्टूबर 2019 क्लास लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ केमिस्ट्री व्हिच इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 46 लेट्स रीड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्लास द नंबर ऑफ एटम्स इन जीरो मोल ऑफ वॉटर इज द गिवन ऑप्शन आर 6.0 पॉइंट जीरो इंटू टेन टू दी पार ट्वेंटी थ्री द नेक्स्ट इज फोर पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टेन टू दी पार ट्वेंटी थ्री द नेक्स्ट इज नाइन पॉइंट जीरो इंटू टेन टू दी पार ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड द लास्ट ऑप्शन इज वन पॉइंट टू इंटू टेन टू दी पार ट्वेंटी फोर क्लास वी हैव टू टेक द वैल्यू ऑफ एवोगेड्रोज कॉन्स्टेंट एज सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो इंटू टेन टू दी पार ट्वेंटी थ्री पर मोल लेट्स स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन क्लास फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गिवन विद 0.5 पॉइंट फाइव मोल्स ऑफ वॉटर सो आई एम राइटिंग मोल ऑफ वॉटर इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू एनालाइज मोल्स ऑफ एटम प्रेजेंट इन पॉइंट फाइव मोल्स ऑफ वॉटर सो आई एम राइटिंग मोल्स ऑफ एटम दैट विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाय थ्री सिंस वॉटर हैज टू हाइड्रोजन एटम्स एंड वन ऑक्सीजन एटम्स which gives a total of 3 atoms per molecule of water that will be equal to 1.5 mole class now we have to calculate the number of atoms present in this mole so the number of atoms present in 1.5 moles will be equal to 1.5 multiplied by avogadro's number and as we know the value of na i am putting the value 6.0 into 10 to the power 23 which gives a total of 9.0 into 10 to the power 23 so class we can easily see the third option is the correct answer class let's move to the next question which is question number 47 let's read the question class a container contains h2 and co in the mass ratio of 1 is to 2 the molar ratio of the two gases in the mixture is the given options are 1 is to 2 3 is to 2 5 is to 1 and the last is 7 is to 1 class in this case i am assuming the mass of each gas present in the container as x grams so by using the data we can find out the moles of h2 present that will be x by 2 since the molar mass of h2 is 2 next we can identify the moles of co that will be equal to 2x by 28 since the molar mass of co is 28 and the ratio given is 1 is to 2 so 1 is for h2 and 2 is for co and we have to analyze the molar ratio of two gases so i'm dividing moles of h2 by moles of co which will be equal to x by 2 upon 2x by 28 which results into 7 upon 1 so the correct answer is the molar ratio of two gases in the mixture is 7 is to 1 that means hydrogen is present seven times than that of co so class the correct answer for this question is option number 4 class let's move to the next question which is question number 48 let's read the question class which has the maximum number of molecules the given options are 40 g of so3 32 g of ch4 the next is 3 g of h2 and the last is 28 g of n2 class before starting this question i need to tell you that this question is very important questions of such types are frequently asked in neat so i'm starting the question we have to analyze the number of molecules in each case which has a formula of n that is number of moles multiplied by avogadro's number the number of molecules of so3 will be 
40 divided by 80 multiplied by Na. Since 80 is the molar mass of SO3, that will be equal to 0.5 Na. Na is the Avogadro's number. Let's move to the next option class. Molecule of CH4 will be 32 divided by 16 multiplied by Na. Since the molar mass of CH4 is 16, that gives a total value of 2 Na. The next is H2. So, molecules of H2 will be 3 divided by 2 Na. Since the molar mass of H2 is 2, that will give a value of 1.5 Na. The last is molecules of N2 that will be equal to 28 divided by 28 Na since the molar mass of N2 is 28 that gives a total value of 1 Na so class we can clearly see that maximum molecules of CH4 is present in the system so the correct answer is option number 2 Class, let's move to the next question, which is question number 49. Let's read the question, class. The orbital angular momentum of electron in 4F orbital is equal to. The given options are under root 6 H cross. The next is under root 3 H cross. The next is under root 12 H cross. And the last option is under root 20 H cross. Before starting this question, we need to know the formula to calculate orbital angular momentum of electron present in different orbitals. So, I am writing the formula orbital angular momentum which is denoted by capital L has a formula under root L, L plus 1 H cross. So class as we know for F orbital the value of L will be 3. So we can easily find out the value of L that will be equal to under root 3, 3 plus 1 H cross under root 12 H cross. So the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Class, let's move to the next question, which is question number 50. Let's read the next question, class. If the wavelength of an electromagnetic radiation is 300 nanometer, then the energy of a photon will be. The given options are 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 18. The next is 6.63 into 10 to the power 17. The next is 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 19. And the last option is 6.63 into 10 to the power 16. So class, before starting this question, we need to know the formula to calculate energy. That will be equal to H C upon lambda, where H is the Planck's constant, which is 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second. The next C is equal, C is speed of light which has a value of 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and lambda represents a wavelength of the electromagnetic radiation which has a value of 300 nanometer. So I am putting the values 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 34 multiplied by 3 into 10 to the power 8 divided by 300 nano represents 10 to the power minus 9. So, I am directly putting the value which gives a total value of 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. So, class the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Class, let's move to the next question which is question number 51. 